today I am making a reversible sign and I don't want to tell you what it's about. You'll guess really pretty quickly, but here's one clue. They're magically delicious. I mean, you know, the part before that. And then, um, although that could be maybe a chicken. It's not a chicken. <laughs> so, anyways, you'll have to watch the video to find out what I created. And so if you're ready to get started, let's do it. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. I had an extra piece of wood in the garage, so I cut it down to three pieces at 24 inches. And this last piece is going to be 12 inches and it'll make two of them. And I'm going to glue them together with wood glue. And I recommend and I strongly suggest if you can, when you're trying to glue wood together, it's best to do raw wood to raw wood. I don't know what kind of magic is inside the glue, but something happens and it just works better when you do that. But here's another tip that I did not do. When, see how I just like ran a bead of glue down? I really should have like spread it around just a little bit because when I smush them together like this, the wood glue oozes out a little bit. Meh, you know. So then I have to take a damp rag and try to wipe up the excess glue. You could probably sand it off later, but I, did, I wasn't going to do that. So I'm just trying to wipe it up right now. And then I'm going to glue this piece to one side of it and as you can see I put glue all over the piece. I didn't need to. It's <laughs> it's going to be exposed so I try to wipe it up and wipe it onto the wood where I'm going to be placing this wood piece and yes I do have it at an angle. It's intentional and then I'm going to put some more wood glue on this side and I'm just putting it where the wood glue needs to be and then I'm adding the little top piece there and I'm going to add, I'm trying to make sure that those are, you know, that it's all lined up and everything. And then I'm going to add that little carrot, wood carrot that I made the other day to keep things level. And I'm adding paint containers on top to, um, so it'll give it some weight and kind of let it dry overnight. And remember that paint that I've been complaining about? It's like, oh, it's thick paint. It's always glabby. Well, I added some water to it and I added a little bit too much. So it became more kind of like a whitewash, but that's okay. I just did two really good coats of the paint and it works just fine. And I'm using up the paint and not wasting it. So that's a good thing. Now, a word from our sponsors. Just kidding, we don't have sponsors, but I wanna tell you something about this video. I love to collaborate with other creators and today's no exception. I am joining the third Thursday thrift flip open invite playlist and it's hosted by the rusted willow rustic chicks designs and the co-host this month is Oakwell home. So if you're needing some inspo, check out the playlist and the host channels that I'll have linked below and let's get back to the video. Now we're going to paint the top portion and I'm painting it with, I don't know what color yellow, but y'all, I just don't like it. It's like a little too bright, a little too strong looking. I don't know. So not super happy with it. I do go back later and I don't think I filmed this part, but I do go back later with a little bit softer color and I just paint over all that area that I'm painting yellow right now. And I'm trying to just be careful with the paint because this is a double sided sign and I want to make sure that I'm not getting paint if paint's not dripping down or anything like that. So I'm just trying to give it a good coat. And to get the edge underneath, I'm adding some painter's tape just so I don't get any paint on the white paint that I just painted. And that's dry. You know what I mean? Let's not ruin the work that we've already done if we can try and help it. I'm adding eyes now. So I have this black paint and it, it's gloopy too, but you know, I'm going to deal with it. So I'm using this little round sponge brush that I got from Dollar Tree and I kind of put it in the paint and tried to make sure that it was evenly coated. I press down gently and kind of swirl around just a little bit to try to make it a circle and this is going to be kind of like the base for the eyes. I mean it's not the complete thing but yeah you kind of see what I'm doing. So there's one eye. Let's do another one. Come on we can do it. Yay! Two eyes. Now, I wanted to add some white to it, so, you know, to make the eye, right? So, 
I'm doing the same technique. It's the same set of sponge brushes. It's just a smaller one. Dip it in the white paint, kind of press down gently, swirl around. And there you go. Now we're going to work on the nose. And I'm not really certain about bunny noses or anything like that, but I'm doing an upside down triangle and I'm using a, I think it's vivid pink is the color. And I'm just making a little triangle and trying to fill it in. You know, the, the, I'm trying not to do too thick of a coat because I want it to dry good and, but I also don't want it to be like see-through or anything like that. So this is what I'm doing. And then I need to add the, I guess, <laughs> the mouth. And so I'm just taking a black paint pen and drawing kind of like J shapes and then a reverse J. <laughs> and then lightly I'm going in and making whiskers for the bunny. I don't want it to look too much like a cat. You know what I mean? So now I am taking some more of that white paint and I'm adding ears to the top and I don't think I show this, but I use that same vivid pink and I add that to the inside of the ears, you know, to make like it's pink on the inside of the ears. I don't know. I mean, that's just what I think that you should do with the bunnies <laughs> or what I see people do with bunnies. I'm trying to think now, do they really have pink inside their ears? I don't know. And I'm not going to Google it right now. <laughs> oh, I didn't show you all this either, but I added hoppy Easter. And then I got to thinking, well, first of all, you can't hardly see it against the yellow. But second of all, people are just going to think I misspelled happy. And another thing, the eyes, they look like, <laughs> I don't know, a little, a little maniacal, I guess. Yeah. See, it's hoppy Easter. Get it. This is to be kind of funny, but um, anyway, I'm, I'm going to change out the hoppy Easter to something darker because I just think you can't even see it like this picture. You just can't even see it. All right. Now let's go on to the second one. I'm doing the top portion green and this is a really pretty green. I forget the name of the color, but it's really pretty. And again, just painting the top portion all over, trying to be careful. I did add a little bit too much paint and I kept having to kind of you know, wipe off the excess. Cause like I said, I didn't want it to glue down on the bottom portion because this is a reversible sign. Can you guess what I'm making already? And you know, the hint I gave at the front, they're magically delicious and it's lucky charms, lucky charms. They're magically delicious. You know, I don't even think I ate that kind of cereal when I was a kid. I don't really remember. I mostly remember eating Cheerios and like maybe frosted flakes and apple jacks, but not really lucky charms that much. I don't know why. So here I'm putting down the painter's tape. Um, y'all let me know what kind of cereal y'all ate. Did you ever eat Lucky Charms? I don't know. I don't know what we just never did, but I put the painter's tape down because I didn't want it to, you know, get on that bottom portion and have to cover it up because this green paint is darker than what I'm going to be putting down next. And it would be a little harder to cover up. So let's save ourselves a little bit of time and trouble and just put the painter's tape down. Now I'm using these two colors and I'm first putting on this linen color and then this is, I'm not sure what color, but it's just a lighter brown and I am going to use that for all over here. And I used the two different colors and I didn't really mix them beforehand because I did want some variation in this section of the sign because I didn't want it just to be like, you know, all in color. I just didn't. So then it wasn't dark enough where the face goes. So I added a little bit more of that brown paint and I'm just kind of swirling it around to make a, an oval shape. And this is going to be the face of this side of the sign. Okay. Y'all, but we got to pause again. Hang on. If y'all didn't know, I have a Facebook crafting group called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. I host it with my friend, Sarah from GGB DIY, and I'm going to have a link to that below. Join it, post what you're working on right now. We'd love to support you and encourage you on your crafting journey. Alrighty, here we go, here we go. So now what I'm doing is I'm adding orange paint. I think it's called pumpkin spice. And I'm just kind of making swirls, half circles, not all the way around, but kind of around. And I'm taking some darker brown paint and I'm trying to add some dimension. I'm trying to add some shadows, but I don't want it to be too brown, like poopy brown color. So I add the brown in, then I go back and add in some more of the pumpkin spice color or whatever it's called. It's pumpkin something. And so 
see the bottom part just looks a little too muddy brownish and I wanted it to be a little bit more orangish like because this is the the guy's hair so I'm trying to fix it a little bit but keeping the dimension and the you know depth to it adding the eyes same sponge brush same technique just kind of pressing down and then swirling and now I'm adding a nose and no I'm not an artist <laughs> I know you probably thought I was but I'm not and then the simple smiley face I couldn't think of what kind of like smiley face I wanted to put on you know so that's it it is what it is now I'm taking some of the white paint and I'm gonna do the whole swirly press down gently swirl y'all these eyes turned out so freaking weird oh my gosh like oh these look <laughs> like my not like these seriously look like i don't know how to explain that i did add a decal from that i cut out using my cricket <laughs> that i cut out with my cricket that says lucky charms shamrock in the middle and overall i think it looks cute i just think the eyes look like hi you know you want to get in my van <laughs> so, it's i don't know i'm not that great at the eyes i guess but you know, overall, it looks cute. Thank y'all so much for joining me today as I craft and create. I really do appreciate the company. And I just wanna say again, I, I say this, well, maybe not often enough, but I really do appreciate the support that y'all show me. Liking, subscribing, giving thumbs up, sharing, it all helps support my channel. It's free for you to do, and it helps YouTube to notice me just a little bit more, and then pushes out my content to some new people that maybe have never seen what I do here on YouTube. So thank you so much for that. And I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me which side of the sign you like the best. If you liked them both, what would you have done differently? Let me know. Leave me a comment below and I will check back with you in my next video. And if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok or Instagram, Facebook, something like that, my handle is Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that is creepy. 